All right, everyone, race week day two coming at you. We just got to a hotel, meet up with Garrett and everybody, Ruby. All their cars are here. Doug's right behind them. Marquis made it amazing. Uh, can't complain about that thing at all. So we're gonna get ready to go, hop in with these guys and make this trip today. So we have about a 215 mile trip, I believe it is today. We'll look at the route here in a little bit, get ready to go. Otherwise, should be an exciting day. Doug is what? Only Number second two, place 0.05. by 0 0.05. Yeah, we're expecting to turn it up today. <laughs> Gonna make it happen today for oh, sure. Yeah, we got it. Nova's looking good. Sounds amazing. Be cruising with these guys a little bit today. Hey. Hey. All right, guys. So we're getting ready to head out on the road, but we did realize last night in Wally that we're hitting a 99 mile per hour speed limit. It's actually 110, but different wheels and all that stuff. Uh, so we got to try to figure out, swap a P71 ECU, try to find a super chip, some way to trick the ECU um, into not knowing the speed of the car so then we can get past that speed limiter. Getting ready to hit the road. Ready to go. Ready to roll here. So we got uh, 215 miles on our tree here. If you guys haven't ever seen that, that's, that's what the route looks like for race week. So pulling up to the first checkpoint. Wally's doing fantastic. Doug's just a few cars up there. Pop out real quick and get our picture. Gotta get a picture at each checkpoint. And got it. Got a nice lineup of cars. McFarland Camp, Doug's Nova, the Escalade, a fine unit, and Wally back there. This vet is super sick. He went 880s last night. I love the color combo on the wheels. The black and gold is sick. You got Uncle Chet over here with his Lambo. A little bit of everything. You got Lambo, and old Wally back here. <laughs> So we're rolling down the road. Old Chad's over here editing in some video. Gonna have a new one up here soon, hopefully on the motion page. Well, everybody, we had a part fail on Wally. Dang tape, not holding this up anymore. Gonna have to fix that. Quick little pit stop. Look at that Nova. We made it to Topeka, just made a quick stop so Doug can get some ice. Nova's up there, Mitch's Escalade made it, no problem. And he needs to put a trans fan on it just to get it cooled down. Wally is doing fantastic. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just check the oil, check fluids. We'll get to the track, switch tires, put this thing in race mode. Get ready to make some more passes. Wally is here. Doug's Nova made it, no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this stuff unloaded and get Wally to go make his first pass. We've got our Milwaukee batteries charged up and ready to go. Chad is editing away. And yeah, guys, so if you're enjoying the rest of your content, we're gonna get this thing ready to make a hit. Ooh, that AC feels good, Chad. Real refreshing. Real nice. So a little update on Wally for you guys. If you didn't know, I entered into the unlimited class. I was thinking about doing like a 13, 14 0 class, but Wally isn't all out in one of those classes. And I just don't feel right slowing Wally down. We're always trying to go faster with this thing, no matter what's going on. So now that we've ran into a speed limit issue, I just looked it up, found out where the speed sensor is. I'm just gonna try to unbolt it, pull it out so it doesn't see a speed. And hopefully the training will still work that way. And if not, we'll try to figure out something else. I was messing with the air box on the front of the car, just seeing if it'll do anything, but with how close the mass airflow is, and I was hoping that these bolt holes were equal, so I could just rotate this, kind of create a little scoop this way or whatever, but uh, not exactly gonna work, unfortunately. So with the mass airflow, if you're super close here, you won't be able to uh, get a good reading. So I don't, I don't wanna mess up the mass airflow. All right guys, so I just figured out that the speed sensor's on the back of the transmission. I unplugged it. So if you guys see, not unrecommended, but right there, unplugged transmission speed sensor. So the VSS is unplugged as far as I know. 
and I actually just took it for a quick drive and the speedometer is not working. So we're gonna take it up there and hopefully see if it will go more than 99 miles an hour. Well, he's just waiting for the call, Chad. Woo! Just waiting for the call. I'm getting excited about it. <laughs> Gotten everybody lined up. Doug's up here getting ready to try to make that next seven second pass. Hopefully he can knock one out and then maybe turn it up. Uh, so we're gonna try and make the exact same pass as last night. I don't know what the heat and stuff will do, but see where the track's at. We think it'll go down about anything on that track and then if it does a good pass and we'll crank it up some and see how fast we can really go. So Joey made it to day two. They had to uh, put a 275 on the back because the 315 rubbed a little bit and cut the sidewall real bad on the other tire. So now, they, now they're now they good. So you're gonna spray it on this one? We're gonna spray it. Oh we'll yeah. How it goes. Awesome. So 1090 <laughs> yesterday? 1094. 1094 and 100 shot. And 100 shot now. So hopefully a 990 something at least. <laughs> 10 0 is what I'm supposed to say, but yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah. This is so sick. Uncle Chet, he uh, drove his GT3 RS on the first race week, now in his twin turbo Lambo. This is just awesome that he actually drives them. <laughs> oh, I love this little car, it's cool. It's such a clean Chevette. I know. if the cars go down so dang it all well, red took the keys to the dang marquee. Woo, <laughs> Chad is ready to make his first ever quarter mile pass. Ready as I'll ever be. Ready as you'll ever be. I mean, <laughs> it's a unit. You got to be ready for it. Oh yeah. Does Definitely runs better when you give it an old tap. 
All right, so Chad is going to make his first pass. We kind of talked about everything, where the track's at, where to stage, where to turn off, all that stuff. Every track's different. So you learn that every time you go down the track anyway. But uh, he's going to make his first rip, and then we'll end up turning the model on for him once he's comfortable with kind of how everything works and go from there. All right, everyone, so one and done for me, one and done for Chad. He had a blast driving this thing. We're going to give him a spray it tomorrow, I think. Uh, Doug spun the first hit and then went 792nd. Going to call that good, and we're going to head out of here. Get ready to head to Noble, Oklahoma tomorrow. So getting the tires changed over, getting this thing back into street comfy mode. All right, everyone, so we are done. Going to go eat some food now. Wally did amazing. We got maybe a lead on a tuner to disable the speed limit on this thing. So that'll be awesome. It might not happen till Great Bend, but we're definitely on the road to hopefully getting this thing taken care of. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like, subscribe, and share button. See you guys next time.